Okay everyone, today I'm going to be making a gallium vortex. In order to do this, first we need a conductive outer ring. So I'm just using a mason jar cap here. And then I'm going to be using a nail for the inner electrode. And then in order to complete the circuit, I'm going to pour in liquid gallium. Let's pour in our gallium. Now you can also do this with liquid mercury, but liquid mercury is much more dangerous to use than gallium. Gallium is a liquid at just over room temperature. It can melt in your hand. So once I pour the gallium in here, it completes the circuit. And then I just need to set it on a magnet. So when I turn this on, the electrons are gonna be flowing from one electrode to the other. So they're going to be flowing radially outward towards the inner electrode here. So that means the electrons are going to be moving at right angles to the magnetic field. Now when you move electrons at right angles to magnetic field, an interesting thing happens, and it's called the Lorentz force. When an electron moves, it creates its own magnetic field. Now that magnetic field is going to oppose the magnetic field upward like this at a right angle. But because we don't have a normal conductor here, we actually have a liquid conductor, what can happen is instead of the electrons getting pushed, the electrons are going to push the actual material that they're part of. So they're going to push the atoms of gallium instead of the electrons themselves being pushed. And so what that will look like is as soon as I turn up the amps, the gallium will start swirling in a circle. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it with my finger. Let's see what this feels like. Let's turn up the amps. Whoa. Whoa. I can feel the resistance here. It's just pushing on my finger. That is so cool. So the centrifugal force just pushes it outwards because it's spinning around in a circle. Now because the gallium is so shiny, you can't even see it spinning. And also it gets this oxidation layer on the top and stops being shiny. And so it kind of has a crust over it, but below it's spinning very rapidly. Now you can see it a little better when I stick some things in it. You can see the flow of gallium pushing it around in a circle. Now what's cool about this is depending on the direction of the electron flow, it will change the direction of the gallium flow. So that means that if I were to switch the electrodes, it would flow the other direction. All right, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and you can also hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.